I'm going to show you how easy it is to quickly connect your site to the Concrete 5 community. The only thing you have to remember about this process is you've got two accounts involved. Uh, the one is your admin account that you use to log in and manage your own website. Uh, that is your own. It has nothing to do with your community account on Concrete5.org. Uh, that's a place where you might go to post a message in the forum or get support or uh, buy add-ons and themes. That's its own account. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, if your site is uh, Concrete 5.5 or greater, it will have a toolbar that looks like this. And you may want to do something like download more themes. Uh, since we haven't connected to the community, we get a page like this, which will explain more about what the community is if we'd like. Uh, or we can go ahead and connect. I'm going to click that. Uh, and right here we're going to be asked to log in again. So uh, I already have an account at Concrete5.org as you might imagine, uh, but if I didn't, I could make one right here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and log in, agree to the terms. Uh, it may ask you if you want to send this form because parts of it are not secure. That's totally fine. You're not sharing any data you shouldn't, so go ahead and hit send. And that's it. You can see uh, we get a message saying that we've connected. We even get a nice little ribbon for it. Um, we can visit our project page. Uh, this is a page that we make on Concrete5.org for this website, and it shows all the add-ons and themes that you have associated with it, uh, as well as the management team, and I'll explain that more in a minute. Uh, and you can see now when I come back up to Dashboard and I click Themes, uh, I don't get this Connect to the Community message, but instead uh, I get a really cool theme browser right here in my page. I can scroll through different themes that are available. Um, I can even add stuff to a cart and go ahead and purchase them safely and securely uh, right through my own website. I mentioned there was a project page made on Concrete5.org. Uh, that looks like this. There's a few things that you can do here. Uh, first, this found locations is really just a list of spots that we have found your website at. So if you've got a larger website and you are working on local copies of it for development or you've got a few different uh, people who are, are working in different instances, as long as you are using the same database, as long as you're copying that database, uh, anytime you connect to the community, it'll just automatically show up here as another found location. Uh, there's no way for you to manage these locations, and there's no reason you would need to. You can't change your site's URL by, by changing this. Uh, this is basically just a log of where uh, sites have connected to the community uh, posing to be yours. Management team section uh, is, is interesting. You can add other Concrete 5 users here. And if I were to add Andrew, which of course I would do, uh, now, he is a contributor to this project, which means he can get to this project page. He could assign an add-on or a license, uh, add-on license or a theme license, and uh, I would be able to install it onto the website. So if you've got a team of people working, uh, that's a great way to do it. And uh, while we can, from our own website, just install uh, themes and add-ons, we can also associate licenses here. So um, if I wanted to associate one of the licenses I've already purchased, I simply click it from the drop-down, choose Associate, and you can see here it shows up as uh, something that is on my own website. And if I go back to the website and uh, I come into the Extend Concrete 5 page, you see here it is, that is available. I can simply click Download. And I am foiled because that add-on is not actually available for this version of Concrete 5. But if it were, it would download and automatically install. Um, the last thing I will point out in this video is if you do need to change project pages, if you've built a whole bunch of stuff at one website, you are losing the database and you're building a new website, but um, you know, it really is the same site and you just want to reassign the licenses that, uh, from one project page to another, uh, you can release those licenses from this project. Um, now they'll be available to assign to a different project page. Um, if you edit the project, you can actually uh, change the name and description so you can remember um, which one is which. You can, ch you can choose who actually owns the project, so I could hand this off to Andrew, put him in charge, uh, or I could just go ahead and fully delete the project page, which is going to remove the connection uh, between Concrete5.org and your own website. 
So that is the easiest way to install add-ons and themes. Uh, it's not the only way. You can do it manually as well. Uh, but certainly this is the simplest way to extend your Concrete 5 site. Yeah.